beautiful for heroes proved in liberating strife who more than self our country loved Sing it something like this. Listen here. Oh, beautiful, far spacious skies, far amber waves of rain, far purple mountain majesties. Three hours of game time. God shed his grace on me. Friday night, game seven of the World Series. Yes, he did. Heavy brotherhood from sea. Your head's, your head's not big enough. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, what do you Pretty think cool. That? See, like, that's you. So you and so the red dot, both, you see or? the red dot on there? I'm recording, recording with the red dot. See, this is cool stuff. This is, this is documentary. This, know, we're, yeah, we're recording history, man. One, man. You know? Oh, wow. And then the other thing it's got, I can turn it back like this, and I can look at it on the side and still see... Yeah, you see what what's I'm saying? going on because it's keeps a hard drive and it keeps working. Well, that's you know that's what it does. See, Gives me so the... you could actually have that, like on the side of you, pointed up, and you're just walking by, and people don't want their picture taken. You just could take it anyway, right? Well, I'm not thinking about that. One... Is that the red light is second things you're going. Do you see that red dot? Red dot? Yeah, it's I mean. Flashing. No, it doesn't flash. It just stays on. It's just red. Flashing? No. Uh, don't argue. Oh, with yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Why would you do that? I, no, I wouldn't do that. You don't fuck with me, man. Dude, I don't fuck with anybody. Oh, you're fucking with me. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? <laughs> almost, it's almost game time? Yes. Yeah, Congratulations. Five, almost. I'm actually living on Social Security. Me too, plus I got a little army pension. And I think in January I get a raise. Fantastic. 3.5%. <laughs> yeah. I just started collecting in May, June 1st. Congratulations. I know. How old are you? It's a big deal. Old enough to know better than too young to resist. <laughs> <laughs> with, 
were you 65 or were you early? 63. Yeah, that's good enough, you know? Yeah, I couldn't stand it anymore. No. You had enough, huh? Yeah, I couldn't stand it anymore. They were too friendly? I don't know. They leave the water running. In the, not in the John, of course. I would never go in there. Can you imagine what that looked like? Because it was like 80% women in this office. Funky, so their huh? Johns were, they were always having problems. You mean... But no, in the, in the break room thing. Where the, what? <laughs> right in there. Okay, didn't this guy get hurt? Uh, he's got a tattoo on his left arm, yeah. You could sit on the train. Oh, I have to go sit down. Yeah, you can enjoy yourself. I know, look, I got the best chair in the house. I know everybody, but, you know, it's just like... Oh, I really that's yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, you can try it out, but he always said, no, I'm not yeah, I'm not going to see it. Don't worry about it. Everybody's on tape tonight. She's fucking driving. No, it's my wife said, oh, yeah. do not. You know him only too well. D and D, drink and dial. And they go, sir, get out of the driver's car, you know. Okay. We're gonna see this a hundred fucking times. So. Well, why don't we watch it the first time? Why don't we just watch it for the first time? Shut the fuck up. Janet should have a parade party. Look at Molly. Janet's gonna have a parade party. Big game in baseball for Big game in baseball for Yeah, baby. Men and little fade. Men and little fade back to four. The injuries and the trauma. I mean, one year contract, thank you. That's all I want. Who else is going to own the team now? Not just fucking be a player. Hello. That's amazing. Yeah, we want two guys. Blanky, bye, bye. There's Molina. There's my man. Motherfuckers, you. Number 11 in 2000. Oh, I like him. Jeffrey, go get it. There you go. There should be one right by the door there. Right by the door there. By the wall. By the wall. He's got it. After game six, coming to the park the today. What the fuck is that? There is life in this room. The I thought they were dead this morning, but somebody let me into shit. I really appreciate it. Oh, I'd have been looking for a tree back there somewhere hiding. There's plenty trees. That's Boy. the problem. Too yeah. many. It's too tempting. Yeah. You guys got good sleep, good night's sleep last night, I hope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rested yeah. well. There's nothing like leather, man. Oh, this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. All right.
Well, free parking, you can't beat that. How you doing, Hans? Thank you. All right, so they're going to end up in the stadium, but what street do they go down? Do they they're go going down Market. They're going to go down Market.
Doesn't have power steering? What a surprise. Is that about a 54? Another six or eight tries, you'll have it. Good man. Come on. Come on. Come on, you got it. There you go. Don't kill me. You look like you know what you're doing there. That was a great, that's nice to see that old truck, you know? Yeah. Is that an actual name for a, a, a place? A it's a town in Nebraska. Wow. Oh! oh! Come on. No. I know, I know. He just, he just snuck up on her. You don't have to drive all the way back to Nebraska, do you? It's going to be a long trip. I like that one red light there. It means you mean business. Oh, yeah. Rub that powerhouse up. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks, man. Take care. Yeah. You want me to help you? Come on back! 
Come on, back. Come on. Thank you, you're beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. What can I say? I got it. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. good how was that parade, girls? Good. You like that? You like the parade? Huh? Good. So you got well, you're a couple of cutie pies, huh? Who's your favorite player? Then we didn't come and see the players. Say so your sister marched in the parade, huh? Oh. She was in one of the school bands. I know. She looked just like you. <laughs> she didn't have the eye stuff on, though. No, but she had the feathers. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, that's cute. How about that? How about that? How you doing, young man? Fine. Look at that. How much you want for that? <laughs> I don't think you're selling it, are you? A uh, million? <laughs> hey, will you take a check? No. No, no. He's smarter than that. Don't trust me. I'm up to no good. <laughs> How'd you like the parade, man? Fine. Who's this young lady here with you? Do you know her? Is that your mom? Well, that's nice. She brought you down here? You couldn't have come without her, could you? Well, see, everybody needs a mom like that. You going that way? You going that way? We're going down there. You going that way? Well, it was nice talking to you, my friend. Appreciate it. What's your name? Lauren. Lauren, I'm Jean. And your mom's name? Lori. Lori. What a nice couple of people. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, Thank you guys you. have a beautiful day, okay? Uh -huh. All right, thanks a lot. Uh -huh. Hey, Lauren, take care of that bird. If I hear he's getting any problems, I'm going to come by and see you. Fun yet. Oh, isn't this cozy? 
All you nice people. All the babies. Seven for me too. No, I think the top of Oh, the highest elevator. Yeah. Oh no, there's a roof. Oh, okay. That's us. <laughs> that's, so that's, do you know how much parking is? I'm confused. It's free, I think. Oh, free. I think it is. Yeah, it's a courthouse. Oh. And uh, they ha don't have court, so the city has let it, people be in here for free for just coming oh, to... I could have I could've parked. I got here the last 20 minutes of the park. Oh, you beat us. Oh, you beat us. Well, you did pretty good anyway to I get a place to park, huh? Yeah. Is this seven? Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, seven. Yes, it's seven. seven. That's seven. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's seven. I think. There's seven. They just wanted to get rid of me. I don't blame them. All right. Seventh floor. Seventh level. That's lucky. There's my car. Still here, amazingly. My automobile. Okay. You know what to. Okay. Yep. There it is. And I mean this sincerely. When I signed with the Cardinals in November of '95, Anheuser Busch owned the team, and part of coming here was to be around the Clydesdales. Then Bill and his group bought the club and the Clydesdales weren't around for a number of years. I can't tell you how happy and tell you if you don't agree with this fans the last five or six years they show up for opening day in the playoffs. Welcome back Clydesdales. So we had the Clydesdales, we had the birds and the bat and this year we found the rally and her boyfriend, Tordy the Tortoise. And just to show you how much personality this team has, I want you to take a good look at Mr. Dotel's hat. Yeah. Yeah. serious points. First, you know, when you do something like this, especially you win the final game of the season where any, the last two teams are playing, it's really enjoyment, it's fun, and I got to thinking about who shares that fun. One of the best feelings we have as a team is to look around and see the people in our organization that are sharing in this fun. I'm talking about people that work in the office, don't have a uniform on, people that work Without a uniform in our clubhouse, I'm so happy, we're all happy that you're enjoying this world championship. We have a very great family here in that organization, and you deserve it. But I want to tell you a true story that to me says it all about our fans. And you should enjoy it too, because you're a part of it. A minute ago, Lance talked about our team contributing, and that's true. But I remember one game when things were probably the shakiest. And as we started to make the move, we lost a couple of, and a tough game to, to the Mets. When some guy wearing Mott's uniform, but one Mott took the mound. And then the next day, we got beat by the Cubs. And even our best fans thought, that's the end. Well, the next day was a Saturday. I'll never forget this. Our club will never forget this. We're getting beat one to nothing going in the bottom of the ninth inning. And we had gotten down to where we could only lose another game or two the rest of the season. You know, we only had three series to go. We came back to the bottom of the ninth inning, and the full house stood up and started screaming. The damnedest thing I'll ever say in the ballpark. Great at bats, walks, a wild pitch. That kind of
contribution like Lance says. If every one of our guys hadn't contributed, we wouldn't be here. If you hadn't been there that Saturday night, we wouldn't be here. I mean, you're just in a zone. It's going to take, and even some of the guys that mentioned when they were talking to Ricky Horton and, and Mike Claiborne as they were making their way to the staging area at second base here, the uh, ceremonies that they had here at Bush Stadium, it, it's going to take some time, uh, two, three days, maybe a week, two weeks for all this to, to sink in this amazing run that this Cardinal team had. But a terrific ceremony held here uh, late, e uh, late afternoon, early evening here at, at Bush Stadium. And, and the response that uh, everyone gave, not only David Freeze, but of course, uh, when our own Mike Claiborne had a chance to uh, to talk to Albert Pujols. Uh, yeah. Obviously, that's going to be the big talk on sports. But what an ovation the that Albert got. Out. But, oh my gosh, Albert got a huge ovation, as, as you would imagine. And so did Tony, too, as well as Lance Berkman, yeah. rightly so. I think Lance Berkman is just so giddy uh, making the decision that he decided to make to come here into St. Louis. And we talked about it before the ceremony started. Uh, what an incredible addition to this ball club on the field, but even off the field, maybe almost as important as what he did on the field this year. Well, no question about it. And, and you, you know, I think the word chemistry gets overused. I think the concept is overused about how guys need to get along and, and be friends and all that. It doesn't need to be that way, but it certainly helps. And it helps when you're facing adversity like this team did. I mean, to be 10 and a half games out with five weeks left in the regular season, to even think about making that kind of run is difficult to do, but you need a, you need a certain personality of the team to do that, and to, to have that for a team, you need all different kinds of personalities. You don't just need the lighthearted guys, right? but you need the serious guys. You need the drill sergeants. You need Chris Carpenter. You need yeah. Albert Pujols. You need Yadier Molina. You need that Tony La Russa mentality, and then you have the other guys, and that balance is what brings you back to where you are, and you think about the word balance, Scott. Balance of personality, balance of team. This team is good in the back end of the bullpen. Good in the starting rotation, good at the top of the lineup, good in the bottom of the lineup. The defense was much better in the final month of the year and in the playoffs than it had been previously, in part because they were healthy. You had Raphael for call, solidifying shortstop. David Freeze was back at third base. Everybody was somewhat normal. And all of the concerns expressed at the beginning of the year, all of the people who say this team can't win with a first baseman in right field and a second baseman at shortstop. Well, some of those things did change over the course of the year, but you got, a, you got a world championship despite having to battle through all that. Well, the ceremony was, again, spectacular, but obviously I think Tony La Russa highlighted uh, the whole ceremony with his speech. And, and I know you and I and, and many Cardinal fans out there uh, have heard Tony go back to the regular season, and especially the last weekend, the last weekend here in St. Louis, that Saturday game when the Cardinals were down one nothing, and he mentioned how the Cardinal fans here at Bush Stadium sold out place. Could have been the second or last game that we saw here this season and the fans stayed and just willed the team to come back and win that game and make that final push in the final few games of the of the 2011 season to make it to the playoffs and obviously the eventual world championship here on friday night but it's it's interesting that tony always brings that that game up on two or three different occasions yes, i can remember yeah he had just in the last couple of days i know yeah. he brought that up in one of the press conferences at the uh, i don't remember if it was after game seven run well and the fan base that supports it, he wins. That's why you have, I mean, think about it. Why do you think this franchise has 11 world championships compared to so many? 